Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. You must be here to learn a little bit something about farming. I don't know that much about farming, but I do know a lot about this. Manure. Up until recently, small farms in Pennsylvania weren't regulated and they could have as much of this laying around as they wanted. But now due to new state laws, well, we'll be cleaning this up. Due to Chapter 91, small farms are now required to have a manure management plan. Why, you might ask? Because manure has a lot of nitrogen in it, and when it rains, manure and the nitrogen it contains get washed into the waterways here in Union County, and eventually end up in the Susquehanna River and the Chesapeake Bay. Nitrogen in the stream leads to algae blooms, and algae blooms take oxygen out of the water. When oxygen is taken out of the water, fish can't live there anymore. Algae blooms also block out sunlight from reaching the bottom of waterways. When sunlight is blocked, plants cannot grow and thus whole ecosystems are ruined. So where does all this come from? These, my friends, are a couple of beautiful heifers, and they produce a lot of manure. During the winter, they spend their time in an ACA. This is an ACA. ACA stands for Animal Concentration Area. And they're sacrificed and don't have a lot of vegetation, so the rest of the pastures can. They're typically OK, but not when they're near streams. Luckily, there's a solution for this. This farmer is going to build a barn something like this one. Once the barn is built, the cows will live there all winter, drastically reducing the number of nutrients that reach the stream and allowing the farmer to meet regulations. In addition to protecting the stream, the barn will also house a manure stockpile, protecting the manure that's going to be used as fertilizer from rain. So why save all this manure? So farms can use it as fertilizer on, on land like this. Farms in Union County typically grow corn and soybeans, and they use manure to increase their yield. This is great in terms of recycling waste. However, however, manure adds to nutrient runoff into streams and waterways. Luckily, there are ways of stopping that, such as vegetative buffers. Regulations require a distance of 100 feet between manure spreading areas and streams. However, with a vegetative buffer and a few other requirements, that distance can be reduced to 35 feet, and we can use more manure. In addition to streams, there's a number of environmentally sensitive areas that farmers can't spread manure near, including swales and gullies. And wells. And ponds. In addition to current BMPs that protect environmentally sensitive areas, there's a new technology that may allow croplands to have decreased nutrient runoff. When farmers use fertilizer on their crops, a large portion of the nitrogen in the fertilizer does not get used by the crops and filters into groundwater. A new technology called a biofilter takes the water that infiltrates the soil on cropland and removes nitrogen before the water flows into streams. As you can see, there's much to be done in Union County to improve water quality in the county, the mighty Susquehanna, and the Chesapeake Bay. Manure management is crucial to achieving this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little something about my passion, manure. Mm -hmm.